Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Huh. Then it's indeed time to go. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. I'm Geralt, guessing we won't get that we far. We stay out of it. Just this once. I'm gonna try, but... What happened to the lilies? Uh-oh. Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? Yeah, she doesn't really have a choice about that. I cannot show to Marian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Oh, that's a fast conclusion. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. tending to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Stop. Leave me be! Ah, uh, okay. That I one I got. This medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say which is still youngins. That true? Uh, no. What the emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. God, God damn it. That's a... Oh, fucking hell. Don't end up in between. One left, he's gonna start running, I presume. Ooh. Whoops. Yeah. That was not exactly tactful. It's alright, it's over. Leave me be! Get away! I guess I get that she's scared. See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. We saved you, Jesus. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Nothing I could have done about that. Oh, great. That brawl? We didn't start it. Uh-oh. Look who we have there. He smells the lilac excuses, and gooseberries. Excuses. You've not changed a bit. Yeah, I've enabled the uh, yeah. alternative costumes. Oh. I received a report Surprise. about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you looking for me. I might of course have waited until you found me, but well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's <laughs> look at his face. Good to see you. Gerald, I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry, wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? <laughs> he didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Okay then. Uh, 
Ma è fisima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. <laughs> In bloom even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well? Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. <laughs> I wow, don't, Godfather reference. Though I could have. Okay. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro will feel Jesus, honored, I'm sure. Jesus, get on with it. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. Thanks a lot, old pal. Although we're old. Horse? We're Swift. all old timers here. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. She's paranoid. Hey, experience. Goodbye, Vesemir. See you around. And get that blood off your costume. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was the tutorial, should I say? Wow, textures. So wide Orchard sure was the starting area and all the side quests. Damn, that lays on the legs. No, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. A little. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Uh, uh, that's not a dream. The wild hunt appears. They are relentless. Well, there goes an Elf Guardian escort. And now what? Oh, well, that'll stop them. Goodbye. Jennifer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Why wait? The Imperial Palace at Vizima. Getting a nice bath, apparently. Ooh, he's enjoying that. Oh. Naked man. Oh. Hmm. It must suffice. Seriously. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The okay, will then. Be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Why didn't you use that word then? Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Okay. This is special. Fine. Then what? I'm gonna do my nails too? If time permits, sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. 
Tilt you, sir, are an asshole. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Oh, great. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. So, uh, this is the part where, since it's a PlayStation and we didn't have the first and the second Witcher, we get to decide what happened in those previous two games. I mean the major plot points at best. So I'm just gonna pick some choices here. I know what happened, but I'm just gonna go through this and let it flow. Full test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? I Moving was on. not an assassin of kings, but hey. You then found hey. shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? So, we got out with Vernon Roach. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. As we always do. We had to save Triss, which is another. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Who is but another source? And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that. It doesn't difficult. look at like it. From what I know. Shortly afterwards, you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tatsoville to bits. Um, I think she escaped. I'm guessing what I did. Um, I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, Burn! National interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. So Leto is uh, the original assassin of kings from the second witcher. And I think I kept him alive. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. Would so Leto was also to, I would a witcher of the Viper you. School, so the ones where we you found the swords of. Gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. 
I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Thank you, I guess. It's always funny to see Feels that the palace like is being ready for a wedding. Were that so adorned with the Temerian lilies. A a frock, a tail coat, or possibly a dinner jacket. And point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Okay. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Yeah, fine. I think I've already chosen. Uh, I'm gonna take that one. And get dressed. Well, uh, I don't need a towel, I suppose. Ta-da! And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yeah, for now. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. <laughs> the gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Um. Confirm away. Let's stay friendly. Please watch. Vudge. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Uh, I think it was that one. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. So I'm guessing that was okay. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. Need I fear the Emperor data. might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Okay then. I will heed your words, Chamberlain. Who the fuck are those? Grimi et art kerzer. Dyfen aden in carn eb marvut. Emir var emreis. Okay, bow. Bow, bow Carol, bow. As we rehearsed, be a nice man. That kind of pleased him, apparently. Your Majesty. Arer ep do orde. So for those not recognizing the voice actor, that is Charles Dance, or Dance, I think it's Dance. The actor that plays um, Tywin I Lannister in Game of Thrones. No man. <laughs> Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Ooh, I didn't have a choice in that. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. Glorious painting. Her. You will find her and bring her to me. Okay. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Okay then. 
It's kind of brazen either way. Okay, need information. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Meririd. The Chamberlain. He's a strong character. I mean, he, they really did a good job at showing how powerful he is, pleases. just in his stature. And the voice actor doesn't hurt. Disgusts. Need not bother. <laughs> so yeah, this palace wasn't always one that the Nilf Guardians were living in. So you can see signs, as we've seen in the previous chamber, that there were Tamarian lilies. There's a, another shield over there on top. While the Nilf Guardians have the black shields and the golden sun on their shields. So, now we finally get to talk to our beloved Yennefer. Okay then. Quill sharpen yet? Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild. The ambassador. See all the Marian lilies here. Kind of obvious. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. <sighs> Thank you. To take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Oh, what? Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Uh huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. For Siri. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. <laughs> um. <laughs> so they're our agents now? My, my, you've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Amir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Yes, she's right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Apparently well, not. Guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, <laughs> Geralt. Before the wild hunt. That was hunt a subtle does. grin. The wild hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. Ooh, snarky. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? 
No passwords, secret handshakes. None. Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. <laughs> Triss Merigold. Yeah. Apparently I got she's that. got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Yeah, why didn't you contact One me earlier? Thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Ooh. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. So, Geralt lost his memory at the beginning of The Witcher 1, and after that, fell in love with another sorceress, Triss. Um, she kind of tricked him because she actually knew that he w used to be in love with Yennefer. Still is in love with Yennefer, so she's kind of a tricky one. But at the end of The Witcher 2, he regained his memory, and that kick started the start of The Witcher 3, as we've seen it so far. Uh, another thing I want to explain is the gift that Siri has. It's called the Elder Blood, the, a gift that goes through the bloodline. And it's kind of vague, but it has to do with some extremely powerful magic, and I'll leave it at that for now. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? <laughs> Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Ooh. I shall be waiting. My love is in the air. And there she goes. Through the portal. Bye, Yennefer. So, the, to top the episode off, I'm gonna show you the part about Yennefer, so you know her a bit more. So, the Witcher first met the raven-haired sorceress a good 20 years back. The friendship and the feelings between them were born of a common adventure involving a genie and a wish granted to Geralt that intertwined their fates inextricably. In the time since then, their relationship had, however, been quite stormy, rich in up and downs, ups and downs, crises and breakups. Geralt and Yennefer's love provides irrefutable proof of the thesis that opposites attract. A few years ago, Geralt and Yennefer had, after a long separation full of adventures for them both, gotten back together again. Their moment of repo repose was interrupted by the wild hunt, which took Yennefer captive. Which is set out at once to save her, but lost his memory while doing so. When he finally recovered it, he immediately set off once more on his quest to find his beloved sorceress. Circumstances of Geralt's initial reunion with Yennefer after two years were quite different than he had imagined. The sorceress was not only safe and sound, but had even secured the aid of an unexpected and mighty ally, the Nilfgaardian uh, Empire. So the wish uh, that Geralt used to create his relationship with Yennefer was something that he actually did to save her. She tried to capture a certain genie without knowing that the only way to uh, set the genie free was to let Geralt have his final wish. 
during a struggle between Geralt and Yennefer. Geralt chose to wish for Yennefer's love and the genie was released and saved them both in the process. So that's a bit of more inf background information about Yennefer, which we haven't seen in any of the Witcher games, by the way. So I'm gonna start the next episode with a bit of history recap with Ambassador Von Artre here, but that will be for the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Check out any other of my series in on my channel and uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.